going on everyone so today we are looking at lead code number 1200 it's a question called minimum absolute difference okay so what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have an array of distinct integers and we have to find all the pairs of elements with the minimum absolute difference of any two elements and we're gonna return a list of pairs in ascending order with respect of their pairs each pair AB follows AB are from array. A is less than B. B minus A equals to the minimum absolute difference of any two elements in the array. All right, so here we have example one, four, two, one, three. We can see that there is a minimum, uh, the minimum absolute difference between any two numbers in this input array is one. And then all the, va all the variables or all the elements where the difference is one is listed out here in the output. So we can see one and two, the difference is one. Two and three, the absolute difference is one. And three and four, the absolute difference is one. And then they're returned in sorted order. Okay, so here we have one, three, six, 10, and 15. The minimum absolute difference is two, which is between one and three. And we can see that that's all we have in the output. It's just this one and three. Three and six is larger, six and 10, and 10 and 15 are larger. And then here in example three, we have some negatives and we can see that the uh, output is gonna be minus 10, minus 14, 19, 23, 23, and 27. Okay, so let's think about how we can approach this problem jump over here in the conceptual overview okay so we have this array and the first thing we have to figure out is what is the minimum absolute difference okay so now what we could do is we could do a brute force approach where we compare every number with every other number find the minimum and then go in and find those pairs where it equals that minimum and then push them in an array and then sort that array. That is a brute force way we could do this. If we decided to do that, what would our time complexity be? We would have O of n squared time and O of n space. Okay, we could do two for loops. So we could take this three compare it to every single number in the rest of the array, take this eight, compare it to every single other number in the rest of this array, so on and so forth, and we can get the minimum absolute difference number. Then we can do another pass through the array, comparing each one of those two and figure out what those two numbers were that equal that minimum absolute difference, push those into a result, and then we would have to sort that result. It works, but it's just not very efficient. Okay, so can we do better? And I think we can. Okay, so now, what if, what if we sort the input array? Okay, so that's, if we sort it, then that's gonna be n log n is what we'll pay for that. And let's take a look at what this array looks like if it's sorted. Okay, so we have uh, let's see, minus, did I get all the numbers right here? Let's see here. Uh, this 14 is a minus 14, so let's just make sure that's correct. Okay, and so now let's go ahead and sort this. It's gonna cost us n log n, but we will have minus 14, minus 10, minus four, and then we are going to have, let's see here, three, eight, three, eight, 19, 23, and 27. Okay, so now that the array is sorted, what can we do? Well, we can check the pairs, right? Because, because it's sorted, we know that the difference between the larger and smaller are always going to be consistent, right? So like if we check the absolute difference between uh, 14 and 10, that's gonna be four. So our min difference 
and just set a variable for that. Right now is going to be 4. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to increment over. And we're going to check what is the min difference here. It's going to be 6. It's not different than the, the min difference right here. So we're just going to move on. Okay. So what's our min difference over here going to be? We have minus 4 plus 3, which is going to be 7. It's not less than our running min difference, so we're going to move, move, keep moving forward. So 3 and 8, that's going to be 5. That is not, that is not uh, the same as our min difference, or it's not, min, not smaller than our running min difference. 8 and 19, we're not going to get it there. 19 and 23, we do have 4 here. Okay, so we don't update it at anything, but you know we, we still have a four there. And then 23 and 27 is also gonna be four. So our min difference, we got it on the first one here, which was right here between 14 and 10. Okay, so now that we know what the min difference is, now we just have to do one more pass through this array and find out which pairs equal that min difference. Okay, so let's say we have uh, val one and val2, and we say, okay, does that equal the min difference? It does. So then what do we do? We have a result here that we can push into. So we're going to push in minus 14 and minus 10 into our result. Okay, we're going to then go ahead and increment uh, val1 and val2. We're going to check, does the min difference for these two numbers equal the total, the running min difference that we have. No, it does not. It's going to keep on going until it reaches here between 19 and 23. Val 1 and Val 2 is going to eventually reach there. And again, then all we have to do is push in 19 and 23 into our result. And then we increment one more. and we push in 23 and 27. Okay, and so what is our time and space complexity using this strategy? Well, our time complexity, well, we're only doing linear passes. We're doing two linear passes through this array, but we do have to sort it. Okay, so our worst case is gonna be n log n time. All right, and what about space complexity? Well, we do have this result array that's going to grow relative to the size of the input, and worst case, every single one of those elements can end up in that result array. So our space complexity is going to be O of n, linear space. So it's not great, but it's not bad either. It's not n squared, and that is, that is, a, that is not a bad result. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the code. So what do we want to do? First, we want to sort our input array. So we can do an array.sort. We want to instantiate our result, set it to an empty array. And we want to have a variable of minimum and we can just set that to infinity as an initial value. And now what do we need to do? We need to make an initial pass through the array and find what the running minimum is. Okay, so we can say for let i equals zero, i is less than array dot length minus one. We're gonna do minus one because we don't have to go all the way to the end of the array because we are going to be taking the, the current element and the one after it. Okay, we can do an I++ here. Okay, so now we got to get our difference. What is going to be our difference? So we can say let diff is going to equal nums of I plus one 
which is the larger value, minus nums at i. Okay, so we'll subtract the larger value from the smaller value, and that will give us our difference. And then we can just update our min. We can say min is going to equal math.min of our diff and whatever was previously in min. So now that we have our running min, what do we need to do? We need to just make one more pass through this array and, it, and push into the result any values that match the running min. So we can say let i equal 0, i is less than array dot length minus 1, i plus plus. And now, similarly, we can get a diff. We can say let diff is going to equal nums at i plus 1 minus nums at i. And now we just want to do a conditional. We want to say if min equals diff, then what do we want to do? We just want to push into the result. And we want to do the smaller value first. So we're going to do nums at i and nums at i plus 1. And then we just go ahead and return our result. Let's go ahead and run this. Uh, let's see here, nums is not defined, oh, it's array, not nums. Just want to make sure we name all of these things correctly. Okay, so we're just going to change this one right there. Okay, oh, one more nums here. There we go. Uh, let's see, what is happening here? Array of i, array of i plus one. Ah, array of i minus. Okay, and we're good. And so that gets us really good performance. We can see we're in the 96th percentile on speed and 77th percentile on space. Okay, so that is lead code number 1200, minimum absolute difference. It's a great problem. I actually really like this problem. And it's one of those ones where if you're dealing with arrays, sometimes you just wanna go through all the different patterns. Two pointers, can I sort this array? What are ways I could do this where I can increase performance? and avoid using nested loops or a brute force uh, approach. Okay, so that is uh, Leetcode 1200. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one.